Hi everyone, welcome. It's me again, Spencer. First of all, my apologies about my voice. I just got back from a trip to San Francisco and I must have picked up something there again. So it seems as though uh, I've just been sick all winter or I've had my voice pretty <clears throat> messed up. Anyhow, today we're doing something a little different. I have here a screen recording of my Mac Pro at home. I've installed this program called Mischief. It's been recently released. I haven't played with it very much, but it's really interesting. So imagine your sketchbook, your standard sketchbook, something like this. This is a very rough sketch. But what Mischief does is it actually allows you to have what's called an infinite canvas. So imagine you had your sketchbook, but you actually had a piece of paper that you could sketch on that's as big as you want it to go. So here's your little moleskine. Mischief lets you sketch as big as you want. Now, this took a little bit of getting used to for me because this is kind of a weird concept <clears throat> at first to grasp, at least for me. I'm used to organizing my things pretty sequentially in pages, you know, your typical tabloid 11 by 17 or similar page, maybe an A3 or so. So this this was a little, little bit, uh, this took a little getting used to. In fact, Mischief, I would say, is really just about quickly capturing all your ideas um, in, in as free form a way as possible. In fact, I can undo what I did just there. So let me introduce you to the program just a little bit. So at the top here we have kind of our color picker lagoon. We have a few standard brushes on the lower corner of the screen. The program is meant to be used with as little keyboard interaction as possible. However, for me, old habits are hard to break. So I do find myself off times using my keyboard. In any case, all the menus and everything you need are at arm's reach. So lower left, you got your brushes and erasers. And right here we have six standard brushes. I haven't gotten too much in the brush creation or, or manipulation, so I can't speak to whether or not we can manipulate too much. But I do know that you can adjust the size of the brush as well as the opacity of the brush. And the more you dial in your settings in your Wacom settings panel, the better the, the uh, responsiveness the brush will be for you. Um, the program definitely has a different feel than say something like Sketchbook Pro or um, Painter, Photoshop, that kind of thing. I think it, it definitely has a unique feel and touch to it. I do recommend you use something with a decent graphics processor and I'll explain that a little bit later. <clears throat> so the first brush here is something like a pencil and let me just do a couple strokes here so you can see what I mean. So if I zoom in you can see there is a little bit of texture to the stroke. Um, hopefully you're looking at this on the high resolution video, the 1080p version, but there is a little texture to that. There's also a nice solid brush you can sketch with if, if that's your style. There's <coughs> a softer brush as well. We've got kind of a chisel brush. Again, you can adjust the size of this down here in the lower left corner. So I've got a nice big chisel and it's got some blending built in. Let me switch to a color so you can see if you got say this blue and you go back and forth over, it does blend and get a little bit darker. So you can get some, some nice color variation through your brush. I've got a little, another solid brush here and another one as well. So, so far playing with the program, I've, I've kind of stuck to these first two brushes. I tend to be more of a, a line, line art sketcher than anything else. Um, at the top <clears throat> right, we have zoom control. You've got move and rotate. You can rotate your entire canvas. Now, you probably noticed that I did this all by myself before. And the way I did that is just with some keyboard modifiers. So just like you would in many of your standard drawing programs, your spacebar gives you your pan. A few modifier keys will give you zoom. So this is command plus spacebar. If you hold 
Alt and Shift, and this is on a Mac. You can rotate. Again, I'm not sure what the controls are on a PC as I'm using a Mac today. So really handy, everything's at your fingertips, or if you don't have a keyboard, you can access them all right here in your menus. There's, <coughs> excuse me, a little menu bar at the lower right, which gives you an option to create new layers, move the layers, um, scale, or zoom rather, merge layers, erase, delete, and so forth. Um, I was told that keeping a few, keeping less layers is better. Again, I'll explain that in a sec. Um, there's also papers. So let's say I've sketched all this awesomeness on the page. I can switch my paper background, which is kind of cool. I don't see an option for custom papers just yet. Again, one of those things that I'm sure is something that people have requested or thought about, but hasn't really happened yet in the actual program, but pretty cool. Um, element here and you can change the color of your paper as well if you wanted to change the look and feel of your drawing so pretty handy okay so that being said mischief pretty simple right now what makes it cool like I said is is you have an infinite canvas so I can actually zoom out really really far and just start drawing and what's what's different to me anyways about this is my brush size is, pre is preserved. So let's say for example, I'm kind of ideating <clears throat> and I wanna sketch some headphones. I'd probably start by just roughing out some general form here and getting a general look and feel nailed. So with a few more details and additions here, you can see kind of gone from my primary to secondary idea here. And again, the cool thing with Mischief is I can zoom out. One of the tricks that I use quite often when I sketch digitally is I'll draw something a lot bigger and shrink it just a little bit. And Mischief kind of naturally does that for you in the sense that you can literally take a step back from what you're doing, look at something for the essence of what it was, and then create a subsequent idea based on that thing. So because Mischief preserves brush size, meaning it doesn't matter if I'm completely zoomed in or not, my brush size remains the same. Now that I'm zoomed out here and I'm sketching a, a big, bigger idea rather, you can see this sketch has thicker lines to it naturally than this little hairy sketch here. In fact, if I want to kind of clean this sketch up, I can take the same brush. And now that I'm zoomed out, use that to punch my line weight on this primary sketch on the side. And maybe even modify it just a little bit. So I've got these adjustable pieces of my headphones kind of sticking up there. Seems like a, a theme. And maybe this one has some kind of combination with my can here. A little bit of swivel adjustment built in there. So Mischief is really cool. I think it's one of those things where it, it doesn't have built-in tools. It really is about just kind of free expression and capturing quick ideas. So you just kind of have to relax and you know to do your thing as you're as you're sketching in the program because it truly is just about capturing those ideas i think personally if i were to render something or spend a lot of time on a sketch i might not do it in mischief just yet mostly because i'm not super comfortable with the program just yet but i do like the fact that i have this infinite canvas that I can infinitely express and, and be creative with and not have to worry about organizing my thoughts or thinking too much about it as I'm doing it and stressing out about composition and layout but rather just quickly capturing things. So again now that I have this idea I can zoom out and you can you can almost keep taking a step back or I could zoom zoom in 
And if I want to add just another sketch, I could do that on the inside. So it's pretty cool. I'm actually going to open up a couple .art or art files. That's the native file type for Mischief. And I'll kind of show you what I did on a few other sketch projects in terms of my ideation and kind of how, how that turned out. Just to show you real quick, however, here's an example of how I might use layers to kind of pop or pull out some design detail in one of these concepts. So let's say I do like this popsicle stick adjustment mechanism and I just want to pop this with some color. I can color this on a new layer. Um, I'm not rendering this out per se, but I'm just adding enough color here so that I'm attracting or rather emphasizing the detail in a certain part of the sketch. If I zoom out, switch my color to black, and add a little bit of line weight, it'll start to help the sketch pop a little bit more as well. Maybe I'll go ahead and highlight that with the circle. So there's an example of just a quick ideation and how I would pop that detail. And it, you know, if I don't like the other side of the headphone here, switch back to my layer and kind of erase that and keep this as maybe a, a little bit of a, a vignette, right? Just like so. So mischief, really cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open a file here that I worked on. I'm not gonna save this canvas. <clears throat> so here's an example of a mischief file that I worked on. I actually started on this file right about here. And these sketches, you can, you can tell I zoomed in and out quite a bit because the brush size and detail of the brush changes throughout the sketch, so I didn't keep the same zoom and I even rotated the page as well as I moved around. And here's just a few examples. And I, I tried, it was, it was interesting because of how free the canvas was, I tried to do this kind of connective shadowing on some of the sketches or concepts to kind of show the direction. On this, this one, this was my first art file with Mischief. So just kind of playing around, sketching a few boots out here and there, getting more and more comfortable as I kind of progressed that way, um, but again, it was it was cool to kind of sketch a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, fill the cracks, and just be really free with everything. Really cool. Um, here's another example of a file that I I created. I'm not going to save these changes. Okay, here's that other file I created, and I decided to do some backpacks. Again, you can tell this is this is kind of where I started. Started with these two small sketches, some backpacks. I had this kind of faceted look, and kind of went from there to here and up to here, and kind of carried that look throughout a little bit there. So, it, there definitely was a process and direction to um, this page, but it's it's really cool to just be able to group everything on the same page. And if you're wondering, oh, well, how do I, how do, how would I put something like this in my portfolio? This is a cool idea. Well, the cool thing is you can, you can almost take snapshots of this, or there's this cool feature where I can go to window, or let's see. Oh, edit, view all strokes, and it, the program rather creates a boundary around everything that you've drawn on the canvas. So if I zoom out and I sketch something over here and I go to edit, view all strokes, it now incorporates this new stroke that I added. So pretty cool. If I want to, I can save a selection or export the visible canvas. So if I want to zoom in to this part of my process which is kind of cool I mean you think about a portfolio page for an industrial designer and you've got this blown up vignette of a sketch these almost act like background elements and you've got this color pop that emphasizes a specific idea it almost becomes a composition in itself and it, it 
it's kind of interesting and I love the rawness and the feel of, of this blown up sketch. So I can export visible canvas, hit next. Let's throw this into my desktop here, replace that. And now when I go into my finder, and I look at that file, it is a blown up version of just that little snippet, right? So pretty cool feature. So that's Mischief for you, a uh, new sketch program that I've, I've been kind of trying out. So stay tuned for more. Um, I'm going to be trying to post a little bit about it here and there as I kind of explore and, and do a little bit more with it. So um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next week.